pops of it in there and then we can do that. The next step is the um, leaf So we're going back to the one we used last time which is Wazdaka Red. Now I could have left it on the paper to use again but unfortunately I, actually, I did actually run out when it had dried and trying to clean the paper um, caused a bit of a rip in it so I had to dispose of that uh, last sheet that I was using and start again. So again dampen the brush into the paint and start painting. Um, now I'm going to use this one as you may have noticed as the main one for showing you how to do things and the other one is going to be the one where I'm just going to paint in fast forward. Um, so the uh, need to apply the paint so that it covers everywhere, obviously, and we need to make sure that when it's on. That it's a flat um, coverage we don't want streaks patchy um, patchy looks to it which is why I went over the other rock again want to make sure that it is all um, good coverage so like you're painting think of it like you're painting a door you don't want a patchy door do you or a patchy wall when you're painting so it's exactly the same with this you don't want a patchy oak there's no worse than patchy oaks they get really bad tempered when they're patchy and oaks are usually bad tempered anyway but when they're patchy they get very very bad tempered and the last thing you want is a very bad tempered oak on your hands so be warned when you're painting orcs make sure they're not patchy mm. <laughs> ah, dear. so we will as you can see cover all this now I know I really should be using the smaller brush or the zero brush for the narrow parts like this but this brush has got a fairly decent point and when you've got a fairly decent point you can get away with stuff I'm not even going to attempt anymore with that that's going to be I've just gone over his arm down here. I can't get in there with this brush, so it says it's going to have to be the um, the size zero brush. I may even have to go closer, but it's smaller than that. I don't know yet, but yes, I am going to have to touch up a few areas on this one. Uh, because I've gone on to the green with the red. This is not an easy model to paint. And obviously, as you, as you could tell, I've not made it any easier for myself by giving it a good, by preparing it properly. 
So I'm just going to put that to one side, dampen my size zero brush, and I'm going to try and get where castor oil won't. And paint up there. I don't think I've done it. Um, so it seems to be covering some for some reason. No, I have not gone over it with primer. Damn it, but it's not easy to get under that. I'm not fussed about it. If I can't see it when I'm actually blooming looking, nobody's going to see it when we're playing the game. Um the paint is just literally sliding off that part so I think what I might have to do is get some like brush on primer and try and get down there with it because I know it's there and it's going to do me nothing Because I know it's there and I can't get to it. <laughs> and I've never known a model to be as resistant to paint as this one is. Because literally the paint is slight, just sliding off. I think with it being like the kind of resin it is. It is a very shiny resin. I think it's just completely intolerant to paint. Oh well. Right. I'll put it out of the way. Give my big brush a rinse. Pick the big other big fella up. And we can paint you. So that's that bit done. Now I'm going to clean this brush and go into the green with it. And I'm going to go over the areas here where I know it needs um, cleaning up. And now we'll go back into the red and turn up a little bit of the areas on here that didn't cover terribly well 
with a big brush. Um, and to be honest, there's not much. That I'd miss a little bit of the green. They're on that shoulder. And they're on that shoulder. Okay, so that's I think the best I can do there. Let's go back to here and see if any of this needs tidying up. Not on that much, just here. A little bit here. Um, a little bit there. And there. Well, there we are. So, um, okay, next job is the boots. Um, yet again, I see something. It shouldn't be there. Uh, but apart from that, they're okay, and that needs a little bit of touching up there on the edge because that's flesh and not boot. Okay, so we're on, ready to go for um, these. Things don't always go the way you want them to go when you're painting, so don't worry about it. Doomball Brown, that's the colour we're going to be using for the the boots. The same colour I think we used for the Goblin's boots. And put them there. I think I'm going to use the big brush again. So because these are big areas, you know, it's you can get away with using a bigger brush. Um, I'm not not wasting much. I don't want to waste much time painting these with a small brush when I can just have them done with a bigger one obviously don't apply it too thick but if you can get away with using a big brush use a big brush um, there's no law to say that you have to use a tiny tiny brush when you've got areas this size but no matter what brush you use use one that you feel comfortable with using don't get one and feel intimidated by it because you won't enjoy the process um, if you feel comfortable with a brush use that if it's a small brush fine if it's a big brush fine doesn't matter what just Paint and enjoy the painting aspect. That's the whole idea. You're supposed to relax you. You're supposed to help you relax. You know, what, what's supposed to help you relax is supposed to calm you down. It's supposed to be a kind of meditation where you can just have some soft music on in the background or whatever music you like, really. And enjoy the process obviously because I'm doing the videos the um, option of listening to music is not available to me um, unless I put something on that's sort of like royalty free all the way through but you know some of those can get a bit meh <laughs> 
I mean, the good for like um, music, what, do parts of the videos, but they can get a bit, I would say, cheesy sometimes. Um, no, not cheesy. Irritating. You probably a better word. But it's like music. You know the stuff you get in lifts. Oof. And when you're phoning some, when you're phoning somewhere, and they put you on hold, and you're waiting for ages, and you've got that horrible music in the background. You know sometimes the royalty free stuff can be like that. <laughs> I'm on a waffle. But, oh yeah, well. So, you know, as a, but back to the main point. You're supposed to enjoy this. It's not supposed to be a task. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's supposed to be, supposed to take you away from the trials and tribulations of life. You can just get on with doing something and when you finish you can look at it and say right paints in that whether it's good or bad it doesn't matter whether anybody else likes it or not it doesn't matter as long as you've enjoyed the process of painting your minis that is what matters don't let anybody tell you otherwise um okay so what I've done is just these bands and glove fingers now. And I actually don't think that they're split gloves, I think they are bands and fingerless gloves. Okay, so that's not a problem. What we'll use for that is um, a greyish colour, I think. Hmm. In fact, no, we won't. A bluey grey colour will be nice. Inky by Darkness. For the gloves, let's put it that way. I need to put some on the palettes before we actually start to use it because I almost went to get it off the palette and it's not there. Hmm. Okay, so we will. Actually, no. I was thought it's a team. We didn't do that with the other ones. We used red for the brown, so that's what we're going to use in this one as well. But these fingerless gloves, I'm going to do in this colour. Um, you know, what kind? Not sure what kind of gloves these would be. Uh, some wrestling kind of equipment. These gloves represent, I don't know. I don't frequent gym, so I've not a clue. There's not much of a difference in tone between this, these gloves and the well, I've got two little irritating flies buzzing around me. Um, We will make these stand out a little more when it comes down to um, heart lighting, obviously. Now I'm going to be doing a different type of highlight than we did for the, not highlights, a different type of wash than we did for the um, goblins. I'm not doing red this time. I think I should have saved the red for these arcs and on the goblins in a different wash a lighter wash because 
you know, I'm not quite happy with the colour they've turned out, but yeah, it'll do. So that's that. And now the um, the armband, and it's going to be Evil Sun Scarlet. And we'll dash some of that onto the palette, like so. Um, and proceed to lap it onto the model. Um, now we have another team on the way already. I bought it for Ali. I mentioned it earlier on, I think. Um, and it's the Divas team. Looks like um, a fine woman team. Um, well, I think it's four women and an ogress, I believe. But they're all, it's an all-female team, let's put it that way. And um, I'm not going to bother painting that on camera. I'm just going to paint it because you've seen the human team that I've just done. And that took a long time. I don't know yet. Uh, I mean, the, um, looking at the minis, the, they're much more rounded. They're not as muscly as the men, as the male minis. So what I might... I might touch I might do I might just do one of each um, by that I mean um, right, with this one you've got goblins orcs and the troll I can't remember what's with the um, divas team as to whether or not you've got four miniature characters or two mini characters, uh, or two small characters rather, two medium characters and two large characters like you get with these. Um, so, but if you do, I will do three of the minis. If not, I'll, uh, I'll do, if it's just like four human women and uh, the ogress, I'll just do the, I'll just do the two, I'm just do the two minis, one of the female minis and uh, the ogress on camera because once you've seen it, kind of like once you've seen it all the time, um, and I don't want to be going over the same thing with the same type of miniatures. Um, these, they are, I know that it's not a different, there's nothing different in the uh, approach that I've done but it's the different uh, minis if you get me drift so that's why I'm doing the whole team here but we'll see once the uh, once the, once it actually turns up uh, we'll see what we can do but as I say I'm not sure as to whether or not there's um, there's three different size characters, or whether it's just humans in a ogress. Hmm. Ah, heck. there we go. Right, so I've caught the green with the red. I'm going to go over the green. Um, and just got to make sure I've covered everywhere. If I see any white, it's going to get covered. Um, there we go, because we're now about to get to the washing stage. So, I thought I'd done this before, but I haven't, so I missed it. There we are. 
a couple of areas I've missed with the paint. Right, it's washing time. Where's that bloody fly? Can you see it? Shoot. <laughs>